What anomaly could possibly be so dangerous that even those in charge of the SCP Foundation can't be allowed to know what it is? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis and the SCP I'm gonna tell you about today is SCP-005-J. Do not let O5 Command see this. Let's begin. Attention. SCP-005-J is a Type 11 infohazard which only affects current members of the Overseer Council. To prevent a ZK-class reality failure, a secondary memetic hazard has been embedded into all documents pertaining to SCP-005-J. Attempting access while being a member of the Overseer Council is grounds for indefinite suspension from the Council and all included benefits, including death. Due to SCP-005-J's effect, no medical assistance shall be given upon an infohazard breach and MTF-Alpha-5, Cake Boys, will be deployed and authorized to use lethal force. By continuing to access the document, you hereby consent to exposure to an unknown level 5 cognitohazardous image, and verify that you are not a current member of the O5 Council. Note from the Administrator, I know the goal of the Overseers is to oversee everything within the Foundation, but sometimes even we are better left in the dark. Trust me. This is something you should avert your eyes from. Really. Item Number SCP-005-J Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Because SCP-005-J can cause an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario upon O5 Command gaining knowledge of it, no sitting members of the Overseer Council are permitted to view any documents or affiliated files regarding the true nature of SCP-005-J. Personnel that are promoted to a position at the Overseer Council must visit Site Command for administration of Class A amnesics before starting active duty at the Council. Personnel involved in the containment of SCP-005-J are to use backup systems and backdoors into SCIPnet to share information. Automated systems within RAISA are in place to remove these files from command terminals and terminate them in the event of an information breach. Members of the O5 Council should not view this file under any circumstances. In order to proceed, you must submit credentials of non-overseer level. Security credentials accepted. Welcome to the party. Where no eye reaches. Identity confirmed. Security measures disengaged. Welcome, authorized personnel. Let's get the party started. Welcome to the party. If you're still wondering what the anomaly is, let me break the ice and reveal there's no such thing as SCP-005-J. Although a mild memetic hazard has been included in this file, this memetic hazard will only affect members of the O5 Council. So, why all this secrecy, you ask? Why go behind the Overseer's back and do this? Well, there's an actual problem we need to solve. It's not a Keter or an end-of-the-world scenario we're dealing with this time, although utmost secrecy will be required. The problem we have at hand is finding birthday gifts for the O5 Council. After what we pulled last year, I think all our lines with Dr. Wondertainment will be monitored. So this time, we will be on our own to create a big party. Also, the administrator informed me we are no longer allowed to use any Keter class SCPs to bring excitement to the party. Yes, this includes the pinata, sadly. We don't need the ethics committee approval, however. Please put down your suggestions in the comments and let's make this a birthday to remember. From Maria Jones, head of the party committee. Thanks for listening. If you like that video, maybe you'll like this one too. Have a nice day.